Hey guys, I'm Little Mr. Saturn, and this is The Hobbit. Um, actually, a game I played way back in my childhood. It's a really neat game. Um, I just I want to play it for you guys. This is actually my first playthrough, and we'll we'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, The Hobbit, Prelude to the Lord of the Rings. I mean, they kind of had to fucking stamp it on there because at the time nobody freaking knew. It, it, it was it was the hype for the Lord of the Rings that made people forget about The Hobbit. You gotta think, the movies weren't, you know, a thing back then. But, uh, yeah, The Hobbit. I haven't played this game in years. I don't even know what the options are for this game. I, I need my, uh, inverting, though. That's I need that. Alright, we're good. Audio, video, uh, Okay. Let's, uh, let's go! Little Bilbo. Music, the music hits me right in the feels, man. Right in the feels, the nostalgia feels. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Bilbo Baggins was a respected hobbit. He lived a comfortable life and never had any adventures. So Bilbo was rather surprised when Gandalf the wizard invited him on a great adventure. He politely declined but not before accidentally inviting Gandalf to tea. The next day, Gandalf arrived with 13 hungry dwarves. They ate everything Bilbo had to offer, then sang sad songs and listened to their king, Thorin Oakenshield. Far over the mist... Oh. Wrong. Okay. Sorry. We win back our ancient kingdom under the mountain. We claim our treasure and have revenge on the cursed dragon Smaug. King Thorin, you need a burglar to steal into Lonely Mountain. Here he is, Bilbo Baggins. Huh? Uh -huh. Excitable little fellow. But fierce as a dragon in a pinch. It makes this game all the more commendable, you know? Because that scene was played out pretty much how it is in the movie. Except, you know, cartoonish and very, very fast-like. <laughs> Anyways, um... But yeah, it it this went solely off of the book. This didn't have any mu blah, 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 movies or anything to go off of, so... Pretty impressive. Attacking men and elves. What's this? Well, Baggins, you've dreamt your way into this. You'll have to dream your way out. Yeah. I always found this part a little weird, a little confusing. Like, I get that it's his dream and everything, but he's already got Sting, and I just nah. Anyways, getting ahead of ourselves. This game is freaking awesome. I uh, I have a funny story about this game. To be I, I was over to my cousin's house, I believe, and I saw his mother playing Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. And at the time, I only had a PS2, so I was like, "Well, shit." I mean, this is little me, so I probably I probably didn't say shit, but you know, close enough. Anyways, I was like, "I want a game like that." Little guy running around with a sword, having an adventure. You know what I mean? So I went over to my local uh, game store, which at that time I believe it was called Coconuts, um, just a little retail game store, and uh, I only had a PS2, so couldn't get Wind Waker. And then, judging solely by the cover of this game, I was like, you know what? This looks like a Zelda game, and that's how that's how The Hobbit got into my life, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's one of those games where you grow up. And then you come back to it, and you're like, wait, there were other people that had this game too? This I, this wasn't only in my household? Because you see people commenting and everything. And this game is actually really good. I mean, it's... it's let, let's, not get ahead of our, bleh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's janky as fuck, dude. Like, it's janky. Like, you'll see it plenty of times in this playthrough. This game is janky. Jumps are janky. Combat is janky. Climbing this freaking ladder is janky. 
everything's janky. But you know what? Damn you filthy rat bags. It's it's a good kind of janky. It's it's a good it's a good kind. It's a nostalgic kind. <laughs> it was just a dream. Just a dream. But what an adventure. And thus the boy became a man. Fear. Something awoke within Bilbo. He wanted to visit distant lands, explore caves, and carry a sword instead of a walking stick. To his own astonishment, Bilbo agreed to go. Now here's where the game begins proper. That was just a dream. Just a little practice area, I suppose. Yeah. There's a lot of memories with this one. A lot of memories. Figured it'd be good for a first playthrough, seeing as though I I I still you remember freaking everything morning, about this Mr. game. I, th I think at least the first half. That will story in that you're a fierce burglar. Hmm. I'll show him if I have to walk to the east of east and fight the wild wereworms in the last desert. For well, now, you'll just have to walk to the Green Dragon Inn. The dwarves are waiting. But no time for it. But and no time to pack. Just fetch your walking stick. Who knows where you will end up today? <laughs> All right. In the Baggins' abode, Bag End, I believe it's called. And we got our walking stick, sweet. Oh, that's surprisingly. Look at these windows. It's surprisingly detailed out there. That's pretty cool. Rolling hills. Anyways, the Hobbit. Yeah. Janky as fuck, but I love it. Hmm, what's this? My pocket has sprouted a hole. Oh, my silver pennies must be scattered all over Hobbiton. And the world, Bilbo. And the world. But yeah. Yeah, like I said, first playthrough. Figured the Hobbit would be a, a good one, just because it's an old favorite of mine. Just because I know a whole crap ton about it and just because I think it would be good to re-evaluate on because I haven't played this in years and who knows if it still holds up but I know the music is good if you couldn't tell and uh, I don't know it's just a nice little adventure nothing too big nothing too too small get it because hobbits are fucking small <clears throat> anyways uh yeah First playthrough, you know, I, I, I'm a little, uh, not, I wouldn't say nervous, but I'm a little bit, you know, I don't want to be one of those guys that's like, uh, constantly explaining everything as it's happening, like, uh, you, you, you push it the A button to do the jumps, and then you push, uh, you, you, you push it the B button to do the, the moves with the sword. Yeah, I don't want to be one of those guys. I kind of just want to, like... I'm kind of one of those guys that just wants to, like, play and not explain everything. Like, you push the B button to talk to the old wench. Like, day, it's not going to be one of those playthroughs. Day, Gamma. I seem to have lost my quilting needle somewhere in town. If you find it, could you please bring it to me? Certainly, Gamma. Alright. So, quilting needle. Oh, I'm hungry. It's almost noon, and I've only had two breakfasts. There's a lovely seed cake cooling on my windowsill. I think I'll head home for a morsel before lunch. Oh, what's what's another type of YouTuber? Uh, oh, those guys that barely talk at all, the ones that are just like... <laughs> okay, uh, over here is some diamonds. We're going to pick those up right now. We're going to pick those up. Um, this lady probably has a quest for me, so I'm going to talk to her and see what she has to say. Like those kind of guys. I just want to make jokes and play Frodo Baggins, okay? Hobbit cleavage. The best kind of cleavage. Where is it? It's in the shed round the corner. Just place the butter churn on the porch when you find it. Yo, lazy winch. But yeah, I'm gonna try to go for <laughs> as much of a hundred percent playthrough as I could possibly do. I remember 
especially the coins in this game being just a just a damn nuisance to find. Like some of these levels are pretty wide open. Have some berry crumble tea cakes. I made them fresh this morning. Oh, and Bilbo, watch out for that wizard. We need a lot of food on our journey. Good day, Bilbo. I do hope you will take care of yourself. Oh, we will try. Oh my god, do try. Oh, that Shire music. Oh, the Shire music. I love it. It's in my veins. It's in my soul. I saw a dwarf wandering around town. Did you see him? He had a beard so long... Just a dwarf. Not 13. A he must have gotten lost on his way to breathe. Oh, so many memories. So many freaking memories. And the trolls. And then you freaking do the shit with that barrel and with the barrels and the elves and oh man. It's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back. Bilbo! I heard there was a wizard skulking around Hobbiton. I heard he was seen near your place. I hope he isn't causing any trouble with his dangerous fireworks and putting spells on the crops. Why can't he leave well enough alone? We don't want trouble here. I wish someone would ask him to leave. Well, you are just the nicest kind of person. Well, you're like a third of a person because you're you're a, you're a hobbit. But you get what I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna try to collect everything I can. Um, obviously. I'm assuming anyone who's watching this has already played it themselves, but maybe not. Um, so I am going to be that guy for a second. But, so uh, these diamonds that you pick up, they actually level up that blue blue bar up there. And once you level that up, you get more health, you see. So yeah, that's what that is. That wizard is responsible for so many lads and lasses going off into the blue for mad adventures. Why anyone would set foot outside the Shire is beyond me. Oh, this freaking guy. This hey, guy. What are you doing? Like, I, I'm pretty sure I figured this out. Excuse me, one, one time. I think you have to, like, 100% the level and then come back here and then... I can't, I can't remember. We're gonna try it, though. We're gonna try it. Oh, the stones, I remember this. Okay. How do you... Okay. Steady! There we go. Oh, totally missed it. Yeah, this game has a little bit of jank to it. But it doesn't ruin it for me. A lot of people... I don't know, I don't know how a lot of people feel about this game. I mean, I love it. It's one of those games, like I said, that just, like, two people have played, and then when the internet happened, everyone was like, everyone that played this gathered around was like, holy shit, other people play this too? I know I was one of those guys. I am one of those guys. I'm hoping this stirs up a little bit of, you know, conversation about this game. Because I think it deserves it. It's a nice game. Hey, a uh, nice game you got there, man. I think we're done up there for now. I don't think I'm missing anything from up there, so we'll continue. Hey, Bilbo! Wanna play some hide-and-seek? I'm afraid I'm in a bit of a hurry. We'll go hide, you seek. Ready? Go! Children. Oh, hobbits. Hobbits and their hiding techniques. And their stealth techniques. This game has a nice skybox, too. 
Well, at least this level. I don't remember what any other looks like. I do remember a kid is up here, though. If I do say so myself, I believe there is a child. Got you! You found me! Next time, I'll find a better hiding place. Uh, maybe next time you should choose somewhere that's not on a frickin' open bridge in the middle of nowhere. You know, you could've hid, like... I can hide better than you. I, you could've hid down here. I mean, minus the stick. That kinda gives it away. But you know what I mean. 